Yo, what's good? What's happening, man? How y'all doing today on this beautiful, magnificent, glorious day the Lord has blessed us with? Hopefully y'all doing good and great, you know what I'm saying? And everything is everything. Man, uh, hopefully y'all had a good weekend too, but peak game, man, peak game. So, Sunday, I had went to church, right? I had, um... Went to the church my mom go to. I suppose went to uh check out this church one of my coworkers invited me to. But my mom had asked me. She was like, you going to church? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go check out my coworker church. She was like, well, the pastor wanted to pray for the family. So uh, I was like, all right, cool. I, I go, you know what I'm saying? I don't turn down no prayer, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I go or whatever. So uh, me, my mom, my dad, my aunt, and uh. I know, I think our cousin or somebody had came. So, y'all know I had uh, previously made a video not too long ago about talking about me having them dreams about, like, women that I used to be with and mess with or whatever. And I was just talking about soul ties. You know what I'm saying? You can go check it up there. I just did that not too long ago. So, the pastor, uh, the church was good. Church service was good. Worship was good. Um... They did go, he prayed for us and all that. The sermon was on point to the max and back, you know what I'm saying? Like, dog. So, all right. He was preaching about, talking about, uh, we may be, like, you may feel you in a season of, like, this stuff ain't working out and, it just feel like something being held up or something. So he was just talking about um, a lot of us got a lot of soul ties with people. You know what I'm saying? And that may be holding us up from, you know what I'm saying, getting stuff or like blessings or just receiving stuff that we supposed to get because we got all these ungodly soul ties. And... Anything outside of your marriage is a illegal covenant with somebody or a soul tie, like a illegal soul tie. And I ain't never been married, ain't got no rings with my finger, ain't never been to the altar with, a, with nothing or nothing. So I know I got, well, I had a lot of soul ties, you know what I'm saying? Like, and tied up to some of everything. He was like, some of y'all that slept with people. Yeah, one night stands or whatever, you done slept with people and that person did now. You like, you tied to the casket. You know what I'm saying? So your health may be messed up or this may be messed up. He say, some of y'all done slept with broke people. And then your finances is like stuff ain't panning out. And you may be, you may have messed with somebody that was confused and you got, now it's on you. So it's like a soul tie. It's like whenever you open yourself up, sexually or whatever to somebody and y'all agree you know what i'm saying agree to do whatever y'all do that's like a covenant you know what i'm saying so you doing it outside your marriage that's illegal that's ungodly so whatever they got on them can rub off on you whatever you got can rub off on them and it's like you ever know the safe instance you could have messed with somebody years ago and sometimes that person, sometimes thoughts, sometimes flashbacks just keep coming back up. Or y'all can go so long without talking and everything go right back to the same. Like it won't nothing. And y'all can get right back to doing what y'all was doing. Or y'all still got a connection. Because you got a soul tie with that person. You know what I'm saying? So, he was just like, yeah, uh, y'all, a lot of people out there just open their legs and doing this and Y'all out there humping it. He said, I hope y'all had a good time because <laughs> when it come with it, ain't, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna like that. So it's like, yeah, I was like, man, I know I'd have been out there plenty of, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just like, dang. Okay. And he was just talking and talking about it, whatever. He was like, well, look, if you know that's you and you done did go, on, it could have been way back. Long time ago, you could have been in your high school days, your middle, whatever. And you know you got them soul ties and you want to get free of that. And you want to break them and release that. And You know what I'm saying? 
Man, half felt like the whole church walked up there for prayer. You know what I'm saying? Because I sure enough jumped up there. I was like, huh. I just had dreams about four women I messed with. And I just was talking about soul ties. And I won't go go to that church. I was going to go to the other church that my uh, co-worker had invited me to. But like I said, I don't turn down no prayer. And my mom was like, he want to pray for the whole family. And yeah, we got prayer. We uh, stood in the gap for um, it to see like for my cousin. And the message was just on point. I was like, Lord, my heart started beating. I said, Ooh, I, yeah, I'm going up there. I'm going up there because I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't want you don't want no soul ties, man. So if you do have a soul tie, man, I believe it's like a prayer or something. You can pray. I don't know it verbatimly or. You can go to church and ask for prayer to get that broken off and, you know what I'm saying, talk to God about it or whatever, but get them soul ties up off you. You feel me? You hear me? Get them soul ties up off you because they may be holding up your blessings. They may be blocking your blessings. They may have you in a season of lack. It may have you in a season of confusion. It may have you in a season of sickness because you did something wrong. And you know you did it. We all, yeah, we all, we all got them soul ties. I, I know everybody that's listening or watching this, if you believe it, if you don't believe it, if you like it or don't like it, you got some soul ties. Some of y'all that slept with somebody last night that you ain't married with, that's a soul tie. You better either do two things. Get that jump broken off you and get rid of it. Repent, confess your sins, or... You better marry that person. But even if you do marry them, you know you still got other soul ties out there. Because you done been with more than one person that you won't marry to. That's all us. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't fall in the hype of this world, man. Don't get caught up in the smoke and mirrors and lose your daggone soul trying to gain this world. I'm telling you, it ain't worth it. It's not worth it. So, get your sales together. God allow you some time. Get your life right, man. Get your life right. You feel me? There ain't nothing out there. Everything we chasing ain't nothing but hell, man. You, like, for real. You got talents and gifts. Get that back to God and let him transform it and see what he doing in your life. Get saved. Repent. Get, just get on the right path, man. We don't know how much time we got left. We don't know... What's going to happen today or tomorrow? Get your life together. But seek God for yourself so you know for yourself. Don't just take my word. I ain't going to never put you in the wrong direction, but I always want you to research, do your homework, and find out for yourself. Don't take nobody's word. Don't take the pastor's word. Don't take your mama's word, your brother, your great-grandmama. Find God for yourself and seek him for yourself and grow that relationship with him and get to know him for yourself. That way you know and can't nobody shake you off of that. Can't nobody move you off your square once you know for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You done tried everything else. Smoking, that ain't doing nothing for you. Drinking, that ain't doing nothing for you. Creating all these soul ties, that ain't doing nothing for you. Chasing jobs, that ain't doing nothing for you. Trying to do everything in your own power, you not in control. We are not in control, man. You got to surrender yourself and submit to the Lord. So, like I said, you know, I, I'm just a messenger. Do whatever you will with the message. But if it, if it indeed going to hit that heart, don't close that door, man. Open it up and let the Lord in and get the norm for yourself. You feel me? It's real. And like I said, a lot of us just chasing air. We chasing air, we chasing money, we chasing fame, we want to be popular, we want this, we want material, we a lot of us materialistic, a lot of us filled with lust, a lot of us has got a lot of wrong in us, a lot of us have grew up in the church, but we done turned our back on it. You know what I'm saying, whatever your reason is, maybe church hurt, maybe whatever, man, that's why you have to seek God for yourself. We are supposed to be the church, he's supposed to live in us. We're supposed to be the body of Christ. 
You know what I'm saying? And I tell you this. Like, if you want born with it, you don't need it. You know what I'm saying? You want born out the womb smoking blunts, getting high. You don't need it. You want born out the womb drinking. You don't need it. If you if you if you needed it, the Lord would have put a six pack in your mama dig on stomach. You want born just having wild sex all the time. You know what I'm saying? You don't need it. You want born out here hustling, selling crack, and doing dumb junk and robbing people. You want born with no gun in your dig on. You know what I'm saying? You got the right to bear arms. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just talking about for the ones who be doing a whole bunch of wild junk. It's a trick of the enemy, dog. Y'all got to understand the devil was an angel. He was in heaven with the Lord. He was beautiful. He was like the orchestrator of music and worship and praise up there. But he got big headed and God free will. Oh, you gonna try to overthrow me and my throne? You gotta go. Any of y'all angels, whoever else wanna go, go. Guess what? You can't come back, though. So all he has to offer is tricks, deception, and anything to, to, to get you to lose your soul and your position that you may have in heaven with our Savior. Because he can't come back. Now, you may see a lot of people out here doing whatever, and it seems like they thriving. Seem like they winning. It seems like the ones who are trying to do right ain't winning. No, nah, don't worry about what it don't. Don't fall into the smoke and mirrors. It may look a certain way, but that don't mean that's what it is. You get your soul right. Yeah, you get your life together, get saved. It's not going to be an easy thing. The walk ain't easy. If, if we reflect it, if we supposed to be a reflection, reflection of Jesus and walk like him, Consider the cost. Look what he suffered. You know what I'm saying? So, you know we go go through things. But that's all right. We The battle already won. We good. But for the ones that's lost and the ones that's out there, they think they winning now. That it's on a wide road to destruction. You know what I'm saying? The wide road, that path is easy. It's easy to do wrong. It's easy to do whatever you want. But it's harder to surrender and believe and walk right the best you can because you're going to be tempted by so many things that's out here. But don't don't stop. Keep pushing. Keep fighting that good fight. Keep getting to know him. Keep, the stu keep studying your word for yourself. Get in that Bible, man. I'm pretty sure everybody got a Bible somewhere around them. You go in the hotel, they used to have Bibles in there. You, you go home with your grandma, with your mama, with your daddy. There's a Bible somewhere around. Some of y'all got a Bible in your car right now. All they do is sit there and collect dust and get cooked by the sun. You know what I'm saying? Getting that word for yourself, man. It's going to come a time. You're going to need it and you're going to wish you had it. And you're going to look back and be like, dang, I had people talking to me. People invite me out to this, and I had messages coming past, and it spoke directly to me. And I just, I'm going to just go ahead and do what I want to do. It may shake you up for the moment, but after the video go off, you go right back to doing whatever you want to do. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. Trust me. Like, I do, I real life pray that. We, we all get ourselves together and we continue to stay on that path and fight the good fight. Even me, with me doing my walk, my journey, I got a long way to go. I know the Lord ain't done with me. There's still some stuff in me that he got to, I still be having stuff rise up in me that I be like, Lord, you got to forgive me for that. Or I got to repent or I got to, we got to work that out. You got to purge that up out of me. I still got a lot of junk that's in me. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting better, yeah. But this ain't no overnight thing. This ain't just, oh, no, we can he just go, you will be like, no, you will go forever. Have to constantly keep on seeking, keep on searching, keep on repenting, keep on getting better, keep on trying, keep on pushing forward. You may make mistakes, okay. Repent, get back on your path. You may make a bad mistake, bad, a bad decision, okay. Repent, confess, talk to the Lord. 
get back on your path. He can use you. And a lot of us got gifts and talents that he, he don't repent for his gifts and talents that he give us. You can do whatever you want with it. But the best thing, the smartest thing to do is to give it back to him and watch him transform it and use it to open up greater doors, bigger doors, and 